So I watched a snippet of a video of Vladimir Klitschko there on Twitter. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this was from a Q&A session or what exactly Vladimir Klitschko was doing. But he was asked a question by a fan. He posted the you know question on his Twitter page and he answered it in person, obviously. And the question was something in relation to when you're setting up a business, what kind of goals should you set? Something like that, business boundaries, something like that. Okay. And Vladimir obviously answered, gave a little bit of advice, gave you know a bit of his say on it, but then explained to the person to look out for your success. So basically watch, be careful of success, because success can ruin someone in seven years or seven days, and then posts a picture of Tyson Fury, as you will see just there, if it goes in. And basically kind of alluding to the fact that Fury beat Klitschko and then went rapidly downhill after that, which, you know, is true did go rapidly downhill for Fury after that. But I find it very interesting that Vladimir has these little nitpicks of Fury because to me, it's it's not as bad as what I'm going to about say, but it's very similar to when Andre Ward beat Carl Froch. Andre Ward, to this day, lives rent-free in Carl Froch's head. I'm sure Carl Froch, even when he's banging his missus, has visions of Andre Ward in his head thinking, I'm sure he could do a better job. Seriously. That's how bad Andre Ward messed with Carl Froch's mind. With Vladimir, I don't think it's quite as serious. But it's still very, very... It's still silly, I think. And the main reason why I think Vladimir holds such a gripe against Fury is because not only did Fury beat him convincingly, you know, Corey Saunders beat Vladimir convincingly. More, convinc more convincingly than anyone has ever beat Vladimir. He took care of Vladimir in two rounds. Probably could have took him out in a round. Okay? So it's not necessarily the manner of the defeat. I'm sure it didn't help the fact that, you know, Vladimir was essentially schooled over 12 rounds. You know? Go back and watch that fight. I struggled to give Klitschko more than two rounds that entire fight. The 8th and the 12th. I don't think it was that. I think it was the fact that Fury trash-talked Klitschko so much. He really was so disrespectful towards Klitschko. And Klitschko was used to his opponents being... Oh, thank you, mister. Thank you for the opportunity. We're so grateful. Kind of that, real humble. That's why he likes Anthony Joshua to this day. Because Joshua, even though he beat Klitschko, made Klitschko look very good, was on the verge of you know, winning that fight with Vladimir if he'd stepped in the gas a bit. But AJ was very humble, very you know, grateful for the opportunity, you know, posing for pictures, all that good stuff. He never disrespected Vladimir. Okay? So, when you look at Fury, Fury, from the moment that fight was announced, he was just disrespecting Vladimir. He really got into Vladimir's head. And you could tell that that was really, that was really annoying Klitschko. And I still think to this day, Klitschko has a lot of disdain for Fury. Not just because he beat him, but because he trash-talked him so much. He showed him so little respect. That's the main reason. Because Klitschko, as I said, he's someone who he needs to feel like he's in control. You know, Emmanuel Stewart even said about Klitschko, he leaves so much of things in the gym because he needs that control. He needs to feel like everything's going right for him. Even when he has all the advantages, like when he fought Povetkin. He's all the advantages, but yet, for some reason, he feels the need to, you know, foul, hold, stuff like that because he's very insecure. And I think if you look at Tyson Fury, he took that insecurity and he, you know, exasperated it by 10 or exasperated whatever you want to call it, by 10. And essentially made Klitschko probably feel more insecure. Hope I'm not getting a bit too scientific here. And I think for that reason, Klitschko probably doesn't like, was well, definitely doesn't like Tyson Fury. And yeah, that's my thoughts on that. So Klitschko being very bitter towards Tyson Fury. Although, what he did say was true. You know, well he didn't necessarily say it, but he alluded to it. That, you know, Tyson Fury success led to his downfall. I don't necessarily think it was only the success. I think that if you look at Team Fury, I think that at the time, and I still do think that even to this day, there's a lot of people in the Fury team who maybe shouldn't have been there. And I'm not talking about Peter. I'm talking about, you know, a certain someone, you know, a.k.a. John Fury, who is not exactly good for his son with what he says and the things he comes out with. And I think that, if you look at Tyson Fury today with Ben Davison, you know, John Fury has taken a backwards kind of step. And as I've said in that video I made about a week or so ago, that might be one of the reasons why John Fury has beef with Ben Davison because he's not getting the chance to have his say. John Fury is a real boisterous character. And he really, in many ways, I think that he was 
helping to, I'm not saying he did, but helping to lead the Tyson Fury's downfall just by constantly trying to butt in, constantly trying to, you know, come between him and Peter and this and that. And I, I just don't think he was the kind of character you would want in your corner, you know, you'd want in your team, essentially, because when Peter Fury was in jail, Tyson seemed fine. As he comes out of jail, all these issues start happening, and you see Tyson Fury go rapidly downhill with the drink, the depression, all that. A lot of things didn't help. You know, obviously the UCAD situation that was looming over, that didn't help. And, you know, probably the pressure of being World Heavyweight Champion, all that didn't help. We have an older Tyson Fury, we have a wiser Tyson Fury, we have a Tyson Fury in a much better place nowadays. So, you know, hopefully if he fights Deontay Wilder and he beats him and becomes champion again, and I say becomes champion again because lineal champion, I don't count that. If he beats Deontay Wilder and becomes champion again, I think we'll see a Tyson Fury more more at ease, probably more willing to be on top, probably, and even now you see it, like, he, he doesn't stay in tremendous shape in between fights, but he's not ballooning the weight like he used to, going to, you know, 20 stone and come back down, so he's definitely a lot more in control nowadays, Tyson Fury, as opposed to how he used to be some four or five years ago, where he was just having a fight, ballooning up and away, training with Peter, back into it, you know, that sort of way, so he's definitely more stable now, Tyson Fury, I believe, in. anyway, from what I've seen, you know, in the ring, his performances can be a bit erratic, but I think that depends on the opponent. Apart from that, I think Tyson Fury is doing fairly well in terms of the mental side, the mental aspect, and everything else. So, with Vladimir, you know, little knocks here and there at the end of the day. He's just bitter. That's just what I think. I think Vladimir Klitschko was just bitter towards Fury. Um, you know, if you look back, Fury's the only loss Klitschko had where he was really, you know, almost made to feel insecure. You know, essentially, because Fury, as I said, trash talked him, goaded them a lot, even in the ring, goaded them. We didn't see that from Corey Sanders. We didn't see it from Lehman Brewster. We didn't see it, as far as I'm aware, from Ross Purity. We sure as hell didn't see it from AJ. Only with Fury did we see that. And that's probably the main reason why. That's the one loss Klitschko can look at and say, do you know what? That fucking guy. So, you know, bitterness on Klitschko's part. As I said, I liken it to Carl Froch, Andre Ward. Nowhere near as serious as Carl Froch and Andre Ward because Carl Froch would come out and just talk absolute horse shit. You know, just say that, oh, Andre Ward only wants to come to the UK because he knows I'm not there. You know, bullshit like that. Stuff that, you know, if you're taking that serious, you know, yeah, good luck to you. That's all I got to say about that. Those are my thoughts on this. Let me know what you think down below. Vladimir on Fury. You think Vladimir is still bitter? Definitely I do. Let me know what you think down below. What do you think about Tyson Fury today? Do you think he's a little bit more stable? Do you think that you know there's less chance of Fury going off the rails again? And do you think it was a little bit you know sly, disrespectful of Vladimir to you know kind of pop that little picture into that Q and A on Twitter? Let me know down below. Leave it on the comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I will talk to you after.